Ever wondered how to get a total body strength training without weights? Well, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into a comprehensive guide for a full body strength training workout that requires no weights. This routine offers numerous benefits, from improved strength and enhanced endurance to better overall fitness, all achievable from the comfort of your home. So get ready to challenge yourself and discover a new way of training that doesn't need any extra equipment. Stay tuned for a step-by-step -step guide to help you achieve your fitness goals right at home. Before starting any workout, warming up is essential. Now, you might be wondering, why is that so? Well, let's explore. A proper warm-up session prepares your body for the workout that's about to come. It's like a gentle alert to your system, signaling that it's time to switch from rest mode to workout mode. When you warm up, your body temperature gradually increases. This makes your muscles more flexible, more responsive, and less likely to get strained or injured. It's like warming up a car engine in the winter. It runs smoother and performs better when it's warm. Moreover, a good warm-up session also increases your heart rate and improves blood circulation, ensuring that your muscles are well oxygenated. This helps in reducing the risk of injury and enhancing your performance during the workout. So it's not just about jumping right into the workout. It's about preparing your body for what's to come. So always remember to warm up before you start your workout. Here are some warm-up exercises that you can do at home. Let's get started with marching in place. This exercise is a fantastic way to increase your heart rate gradually. It's not about speed here, but about controlled movements. So lift your knees high and swing your arms. Keep the pace steady and focus on your breath. Next, we have arm circles. This exercise is a great way to warm up your shoulder joints and improve their range of motion. Stand tall, extend your arms out to the sides and start making small circular movements. Gradually increase the size of the circles. Remember, it's all about control. After a few moments, reverse the direction of the circles. Now let's move on to leg swings. This exercise targets your hips, helping to open them up and prepare them for the workout ahead. Stand next to a wall or a chair for support, lift one leg off the ground, and swing it forward and backward. Again, the key here is to maintain a steady rhythm and to move in a controlled manner. After about half a minute, switch to the other leg. Let's not forget about side leg swings. This variation targets the inner and outer thighs. Stand tall, lift one leg off the ground and swing it side to side. As with all these exercises, remember to keep your movements controlled and your pace steady. After about half a minute, switch to the other leg. These are just a few examples of warm-up exercises that you can do at home. They are designed to increase your heart rate, stimulate blood flow to your muscles, and prepare your body for the workout ahead. Remember, the goal of the warm-up is not to tire you out, but to prepare your body for the main workout. Now that the body is warmed up, it's time to start the main workout. Ready for a full body strength training workout without any weights? Let's dive right into the heart of our workout. Today, we'll be focusing on exercises that target different parts of your body, engaging your muscles and improving your strength, all without the need for weights. First up, we have push-ups. Now, don't be intimidated by this classic exercise. Push-ups are fantastic for your upper body strength, targeting your chest, shoulders, and triceps. To do a push-up, start in a high plank position. Lower your body until your chest nearly touches the floor. Keep your elbows tucked close to your body as you lower. Then push your body back up to the starting position. Aim to do about 15 to 20 repetitions of this exercise. Next, let's move on to squats, an excellent exercise for your lower body. Squats primarily target your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. To perform a squat, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and lower your body as if you're sitting in a chair. Keep your chest up and your knees over your toes. Then push back up to the starting position. Try to do about 20 to 25 squats. After squats, we have lunges. Lunges work your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. To do a lunge, stand with your feet hip width apart. Step forward with one foot and lower your body until your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Your back knee should hover just above the ground. Then push back up to the starting position and repeat with the other leg. Aim for 10 to 15 lunges on each leg. Next up, we have planks. Planks are a fantastic exercise for your core, but they also work your shoulders, arms, and glutes. To do a plank, start in a push-up position, but keep your weight on your forearms instead of your hands. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your feet. Hold this position for about 30 seconds to one minute. Finally, let's wrap up our workout with mountain climbers. 
Mountain climbers are a full body exercise targeting your core, shoulders, arms, and legs. To do a mountain climber, start in a high plank position. Then bring one knee towards your chest. Quickly switch and bring the other knee towards your chest. It's like running in place in a plank position. Try to do this exercise for about 30 seconds to one minute. Now let's put it all together. Start with push-ups, then move on to squats, lunges, planks, and finish with mountain climbers. Try to do each exercise for the recommended number of repetitions or duration, and take a short break in between if needed. The key is to maintain proper form and to listen to your body. If an exercise feels too challenging, it's okay to modify it or take a break. Remember, consistency is key in strength training. Try to incorporate these exercises into your routine at least three times a week. Over time, you'll notice improvements in your strength, endurance, and overall fitness level. These exercises are versatile and can be done anywhere, anytime. They're perfect for those days when you can't make it to the gym or simply prefer to work out at home. And the best part? You don't need any weights or fancy equipment. All you need is your body, some determination, and a positive attitude. Now, don't forget to hydrate and refuel your body after your workout. It's important to replenish the nutrients your body used during your workout to aid in recovery and muscle growth. Congratulations on completing the workout. But remember, it's not over yet. We've still got a cool down to do, so stick around and let's finish strong. Together, we can achieve our fitness goals, one workout at a time. Just like warming up, cooling down after a workout is equally important. Now, why is that so? Well, a cool down session is not just a casual way to end your workout. It's a crucial part of the process that prepares your body to transition from a state of vigorous activity back to its normal pace. Think of it like this. You wouldn't want to stop a fast moving vehicle abruptly, right? The same principle applies to your body. A sudden halt in physical activity can cause blood to pool in your limbs, leading to dizziness or in extreme cases fainting. Cooling down gradually lowers your heart rate and helps prevent such scenarios. But that's not all. It also helps in muscle recovery. By gently stretching your muscles after a workout, you help to reduce muscle soreness and stiffness. This makes it easier for you to get back to your routine the next day, without any discomfort. So never skip your cool down session. Here are some cool down exercises to finish off your workout. Let's start with some deep breathing. Inhale slowly and deeply, hold it for a moment, and then exhale fully. This will help your heart rate come down and ease your body back into its resting state. Now let's move on to some gentle stretching. This is not about pushing your limits, but about gently elongating the muscles you've just worked. Take your time with each stretch, hold for a few seconds, and always remember to breathe. Finally, let's wrap this up with some easy walking in place. This will keep your blood flowing and help prevent stiffness and soreness. Remember, this is not a race, but a chance to let your body cool down and recover. These exercises are meant to be done in a relaxed and easy manner. So take it slow, listen to your body, and enjoy this time of calm and relaxation. And that wraps up your total body strength training workout without weights. So what's next after this? Well, consistency is key. By regularly incorporating these exercises into your routine, you're taking a powerful step towards overall physical strength. Remember, the benefits of this workout extend beyond just muscle building. It improves your balance, increases your endurance, and even boosts your mood. Results may not appear overnight, but with time and patience, they will arrive. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. Keep going and stay strong.